So today we have gotten the sad, sad news. Well, not really sad. It's just that it, it's a fact in this COVID-19 climate. Um, Quad City, the steam wheelers have, have gone dormant. I was about to say suspended operations, but they've gone dormant for 2021. And the interesting thing here is that there was a Instagram post by the Frisco Fighters um, a couple days ago, which said 11 to 20. So I'm assuming, you know, basically, you know, Quad City worked with the IFL. They worked with Commissioner Todd Tyron to get some things together and be like, hey, we'll be back in 2022. We know we'll be back in 2022, unlike some other teams. Um, but Frisco's um, Instagram post maybe confirms that the IFL schedule will be released on November the 2nd. Now, there's still some things uncertain. There's at least two teams that are uncertain, San Antonio and Ontario, um, which are supposed to be you know, they've been rumored to be in the league for a while, and I don't know what in the world's going on out there. But there's still a little bit of time for the IFL to announce these teams. Now, the Massachusetts Pirates website is the only one that's updated, so currently we're at 11. We're at 11 teams in the IFL, which was one more, you know, than what they had in 2019. But of course, a lot of teams have gone dormant already or not playing yet just because of the pandemic. And keep in mind that one of the IFL's goals was to get back to 16 teams anyway. So, you know, it's very interesting to see how in the world this all factors in. You know, certainly some things have been planned, some have not, you know. I don't think the IFL was anticipating getting Massachusetts like this. But they got them. And they got a great asset in this league now. In, in, in the Pirates. So, you know, even though the Pirates don't have any fans, like, there's, like, nobody comes to those games. But, so what, what I'm thinking is going to happen is that the IFL schedule will be released in sometime in the next week or so with that Instagram post confirming that it may be on November 2nd and Quad City is done until 2022 that's basically it pretty simple pretty easy to follow and yeah so 11 teams in the IFL right now I had I had a thumbnail made for the schedule release that was supposed to be on the 21st um, considering there's 12 that are that are participating, that were participating, you know, 12 teams that were participating, and we didn't know about the other two. But, yeah. <sighs> yeah, again, you know, San Diego, Cedar Rapids, and Oakland. Well, Oakland's already said they've gone dormant, but I'm certain that Cedar Rapids, at least, is completely gone. San Diego is probably gone, too, still. You know, we're still talking about the fact that those two teams could be gone. So I mean, we don't know anything. We don't know. I mean, yeah, the websites for both of those teams have been updated in months, but we, we still don't know unless we get official confirmation. So that'll do it, everybody. Y'all take care. Have a good weekend. And we're going to see you on Monday for college football stuff. So if you please pay attention to the end of this video, college football recap preview all that stuff all that stuff will be moved back due to you know the um late football games on on saturday night so see you monday